Justice blowing us away with Miguel Cabrera factoids. Keith, take it away. Yes, and the clip that will never die from Hall of Fame. I cannot get that out of the server no matter what <laughs> I attempt to do. But, yeah, guys, a couple full screens here on Miguel Cabrera putting his career into a little bit of perspective. We'll start with batting average. Now, you look at his career overall, 308 is the highest of any active player. It stacks up well historically. But you go back to the middle of the 2016 season, that was the last time he hit 300. And when he reached 2,000 games for his career, pretty impressive company he's keeping, guys, among right-handed hitters. You got some lefties above him, but a 320 average through that point in his career, around 33 years old, it's the best we've seen of anybody in the last 100 years hitting from the right side. Now, Harold, you remember back in 2012, 2013, the big MVP debates around Trout mm. and Cabrera. People kind of not going crazy about the Triple Crown as they might have. So what did he do? He came back the next year with your friend BK's version of the Triple Crown. Average on base slugging percentage led in all three in 2013. And as you see on that list, the only right-handed hitter to do that over the last There's a lot years. of good-looking dudes in baseball. There are a lot of good-looking good look dudes in baseball. Five of them right there to be precise. Now, another part of that debate, guys, and Harold, I know you were big on this at the time. Prince Fielder coming to Detroit and Miggy's ability to move all over the field. Mm, mm -hmm. Guys who hit 30 homers and 100 RBIs at four different positions. It's not all coming at that position, but just the primary position in a given season. Only wow. three guys to do it at four different spots. Ten of those seasons for Miggy. Both corners on the infield, both corners on the outfield. So, obviously, he wasn't a gold glover, but <clears throat> just his ability to wow. be on the field at those That's different impressive. spots while producing. Yeah, I thought that I thought you'd like that, H. And Joe Carter's a guy who doesn't get enough love when we talk about the great players of his generation. I love history. You're true, I love true, history true. as well. And last one here, guys. I get it. The Marlins haven't been around all that long. But how about guys to rank in the top five <laughs> with multiple franchises in home runs? Bonds, Pujols, Cabrera, the three best hitters at least I've seen in my lifetime. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like that board a lot. That's we got that full screen, stuff. Bill? Yeah, we four of them. It. We just it's ran through them. Right there. Uh, all four full screens. Hey, I got one thing on. Walking on, right into Cooperstown, right? For sure, uh, an all-time <clears> great, <throat> no question, first ballot guy. I just wonder what those career numbers would look like, the, um, you know, the averages, not so much the accumulation stats, with maybe two and a half years less of career numbers. Because the last couple years have not been great for a really decorated all-time hero in our yeah. game. Um, uh, you know, it, it's a hard thing when the star is in decline. And I don't think anybody would argue that since Keith mentioned his, you know, his last big, huge year in 2016, there have been some clunkers here of late. The career batting average, career OPS, all those average numbers would be a lot higher. But there was a matter of this contract that he had, and he wanted to fulfill it. I mean, he talked a lot about how he made a commitment to play. He signed this deal. Uh, he, he knows he's not the same hitter that he was in 2012, 16, etc. But he wanted to honor the contract. And See, that's why here's, he, here's the like, thing about these contracts. I don't know why they don't front load the money. You know by the time the guy gets towards the end, you're paying him all this money, and it, it sinks your team. So give him everything you want up front. Yeah. You're that great. I'll give you $50 million up front, but your last five years, you're making 10. Yeah. You know what I mean? And make it easier for the club to get some relief. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Instead, they're paying a guy, you know, $25, 30000000 million when he's not going to be productive, and they know it because they wanted to give him those three years that had to get the deal done. And you, you, you're hemorrhaging your whole club at the last three right. years of that deal. Right. You know, when you, look, when you look at a Hall of Fame vote, and we're going to start talking about the Hall of Fame, of course, more and more over the next couple of, uh, of weeks, Keith, um, the, the all-time greats that will retire in the same year that Miguel Cabrera retires, so he, his last year will be 2023, he'll be Hall of Fame eligible in 2028, who else is shutting it down at the end of next season? that would take votes away from him potentially being a unanimous first ballot Hall of Famer because he has that chance. I hadn't thought about that unanimous Hall of Famer angle there, Matty, but really the problem in previous years was the back of the ballot. It was so crowded with the PED guys, but I think that now that's cleared up a little bit. Bonds, Clemens off the list. I think he's not going to have any problem waltzing in on that first ballot and probably should come pretty close to unanimous. But we know how these things go. People found a way to vote against Derek Jeter. He's not going to get there unanimously. All right. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right, but it is kind of uh, intriguing to think about it. Maybe 2023, you think about Kershaw. Would he potentially be a guy that could pitch one more year and then shut it down? I don't know. I think Clayton wants to keep going. Agreed. And, you know, he will if he wants to. 
Uh, but it's interesting yeah. to think about. And speaking of Wayne, all of Wayne Wright, Wayne Wright has shut it down. Wayne Wright. He, I think he's that already gets said, him to Cooperstown. Yeah, he's already said you know what I mean? that's the guy. You're right about that. 